One Piece is the best looking anime in the world right now. It's time for a deep dive out of Japan. The Wano arc has been a highlight for One Piece on television. The show's been going from epic moment to epic moment. The showdown with the Beast Pirates, Yamato's flashback to Ace, and Zoro taking on Kaido have all been beautifully animated. But what exactly caused this transition? One Piece is one of the very few shows still aiming for a weekly release rather than using the core format. Its episodes should have a far lower budget than something like My Hero Academia. So how has it gotten so much stronger lately? A name thrown around quite often is Tatsuya Nagamine. Nagamine-sensei has been attached to some notable works in the franchise's past. He directed the Heart of Gold film and Film Z. Away from One Piece, however, we see some amazing gems on his resume. Heart Catch Precure, Saint Seiya Omega, and Dragon Ball Super's Universe Survival Saga. Above all that, however, we have his work on Super's Broly movie. Given the sheer quality of the fight animation in that film, it's easy to see that helping out production on One Piece. However, no one man can make a studio turn out excellent work so consistently. We should also think about the general situation Toei's found themselves in. Wano is a ridiculously long arc in the manga, running for a grandiose 149 chapters. Given that the anime is drawing closer to current events in the manga, Toei isn't going to want to rush the adaptation of this arc. If they do, they're at serious risk of catching up with Oda and running out of material to adapt. With the episodes adopting a slow pace to already lengthy material, that gives the animators time to polish every moment and make it shine. You want to sell every badass attack and every cool new power reveal because that gives you an excuse to stretch it out and make the episodes longer. But that is a cynical way of looking at things. There's just the question of Wano being a really strong source material that resonates with people. The Odin flashback has been seen as a big transition point for the series. We've got scenes like young Yamato's imprisonments that are just inherently effective and cool moments. Wano is the climax of the New World Saga, the point where events that began at Punk Hazard finally reach their conclusion. It is a big, epic arc with a fun, action-filled story to tell. With good material to work with, it's only natural for animators to bring their A-game for it. All of this does raise a question, however. What will the anime do once it reaches the end of Wano? The manga is still working through the next arc, Egghead Island, and it seems likely Toei will have to add some filler between Wano and the next arc to buy themselves some breathing room. There are a few plot points that could be expanded on quite easily. Blackbeard's next big move and the introduction of his rival, Buggy. Even with the Straw Hats, there is narrative room for something to happen to them between the two arcs. And this is going to be where we really see Toei's strength. Will the skills the team honed during Wano persist once the arc is done? Or is Oda's material giving the anime a short-term bump? Meanwhile, the Jujutsu Kaisen anime may end up running out of material because the creator's rushing the end of the manga.